tumor lysis syndrome is a both a metabolic and a clinical entity that occurs when there is the rapid breakdown of tumor cells. Um, when this rapid breakdown occurs, almost generally in, in the setting of a patient receiving some form of therapy for their cancer, the contents of the cells are released into the bloodstream and particularly potassium, calcium, phosphate, and um, uh, uric acid specifically uh, can lead to metabolic abnormalities and clinical manifestations including kidney failure, heart arrhythmias, and in the worst case scenario, uh, sudden death. Surprisingly, the incidence of TLS is relatively high. Um, it's particularly high in patients with hematologic malignancies such as leukemia and lymphoma, but most importantly, um, it can be seen in almost any cancer which really has, uh, responds well to some form of therapy, and that can be targeted therapies um, or can be chemotherapies. Um, but the incidence among patients with hematologic malignancies is between approximately 35 to 40 percent. Why it is an oncologic emergency is because it can uh, result in potentially death. Um, and so it is a life-threatening, uh, con uh, considered an oncologic emergency. Um, the reasons being for this is primarily is the onset of renal failure. Um, left untreated, the incidence of renal failure can approach 24%. Uh, in some specific malignancies, particularly high-risk hematologic malignancies. Um, and the other abnormalities, as I had mentioned previously, is cardiac arrhythmias. Um, it can lead to seizures um, and, again, to sudden death. Um, the long-term sequelae in regard to this, if a patient is six, avoids uh, passing away from one of these complications is they could be left with uh, permanent renal damage and the potential necessity for hemodialysis.